acting like I told Maxie to go and rip that necklace off of Leela's neck. Okay, Robin, why don't you explain to me what happened? <sighs> Maxie and Georgie saw that I was a little sad, and so they corralled me for some girl talk. Girl talk? Wow, that phrase covers a whole multitude of sins, doesn't it? What does that mean? It's always the same with you. Blame someone else and taking your own emotional responsibility. Easier to play the victim to your family and blame Layla. You put undeniable pressure on our relationship, and that's what ended it. First of all, I didn't play the victim to anybody. And it ended because I made the unspeakable mistake of admitting that I wanted to have a child with you. You wanted a child, period. It didn't have a hell of a lot to do with me, proven by the fact that five minutes after we broke up, you got up every guy in this city looking for DNA. Do you know how reactive that sounds? How immature and desperate that is? Excuse me, you're the one that's immature. You said that you love me, and then the minute you had to actually back that up, you bolted. Now Robin, that's, that's desperate. that's one thing. You wanted a family, and I didn't. No, you wanted an excuse to get out of the relationship. I mean, you said that you love me. You actually made me believe that. Turns out I was just an exercise in fidelity for you. I loved you. I was honest with you from the beginning about my commitment issues, about not wanting a family. As soon as everything didn't go your way, you bailed. Now take responsibility and move on. So how many women you plan on leaving in tears tonight, huh? Nicholas, huh? what do you... Nicholas has been having these rage attacks for the past few weeks now. Not only are the rage episodes becoming more violent, but they're coming closer together. So you've been keeping track? Yeah, I started a journal. The test we ran don't indicate any of this. He has one more specialist to see in Zurich, and he wound up on the waiting list because he insisted on throwing me this big party. Well, that's called denial. Nicholas doesn't get this under control. He's going to wind up in assault charge if he's lucky. What happened? What do you remember? Uh, I was talking to that, that gal, it Layla, in the ballroom. Something about broken pearls. Excuse me. Well, wait, where are you going? I have guests to attend to. Guests are the least of your problems right now. We need you right away. Someone tried to kill Rick Lansing. I did this. We haven't been able to stop the bleeding. Oh, God, Robin, try harder. We need to evacuate him now. Don't waste your time. A storm of this magnitude must have knocked down a tower or two. Besides, we couldn't call anyone. And many back won't fly in this weather. Then how are we going to get him out of here? We find a boat. Let's go find Nicholas. He's with Emily somewhere. I, I know where he keeps the keys to the launch. But everything we can. Did, did Rick happen to say anything about who did this to him? He wasn't very coherent. We should try to find something for the pain. Yeah, some alcohol or something. I, I can go back to the ball. No, it's not safe. Robin, Layla, and I will stay here with Rick. Everybody else go back to the ballroom. And I'm, stay not there. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving either. Listen, listen. I'll take I'll take Nadine here and Emily back to the ballroom. I'll grab a bottle of brandy or something like that. Okay? I, listen, I know you like being the center of attention, but this is a little extreme, don't you think? Alexis, help me put pressure on me. doesn't look good for Rick. He's lost a lot of blood. Look, I didn't mean to rub your nose in anything by asking Lila to stay. Robin. 